Welcome to Those Junkies Times 3. My name is Kenisa, and today we are going to be reviewing another bark collar. I was sent this bark collar and asked to review it. So, what I'm going to do is kind of do a similar test to the test that we've done in the past. I did try to review this collar at the bark, uh, dog park, but Zoe no longer barks when she's walking to the dog park because I've been using the other collar. So, we're just going to do the same test that we've done in the past. So before we get into that, I'm just going to show you guys the collar, show you guys how it works, then we'll get into the test, and then we'll come back and discuss the pros and the cons of this new bark collar. So, the box that the bark collar comes in is this little box, and I will leave all the information on where you can purchase this in the description box below. This is the bark collar. It does have a digital screen in the front, which I do like and it is rechargeable so when you need to charge it you just plug it into the wall and you're able to charge it from there another thing about this collar is it does have different options and different levels so for instance for me i do not shock my dogs uh that's just not for me some people do like to do that with their dogs i do not so this collar you are able to shock if you would prefer or not shock they have a vibration for your smaller dogs it does have an instruction guide and it does show you guys it shows you look it shows you guys the different ways that they recommend for shocking so for my dogs all of them are too small to be shocked obviously and even if they weren't too small i just wouldn't personally use that setting but i do like that you have options so if you do want to use it one day or you want to use the vibration another day you have the option to do so and so i think the collar is really nice very sleek i like that it's black i love the little bone definition or the bone detailing in here I think that's really cute so we are going to like I said we're going to try this out on Zoe and I do have it set to vibration I am not shocking her guys I wouldn't dare shock my dogs so it will just be and I have tested it on myself it will just be a alerting like a vibrate when she barks so hopefully it does shock her enough to stop barking we'll see how it works oh and before we get into that I'm just going to give you guys a close-up on the bark collar and show you guys how to turn it on and what to do so on and so forth all right so to turn it on obviously you'll just press this power button and you'll see that it is on zero and you can this is how you turn on the vibration this is how you turn on the shock and this determines the sensitivity level so you can turn the vibration on levels all the way up to 7. If you want to turn the shock on, you can turn that all the way up to 7. Obviously, I'm going to turn it back on 0. And then the sensitivity level, you can turn that all the way up to 7 as well. I'm going to leave it on probably 2 uh, for Zoe. Then you do have this charger when it does need to be charged. When it does need to be charged, you just plug it in. All right, so when it does need to be charged, just plug it in right here. And you plug it into your traditional wall charger, which is very nice. A difference from the one that I have is you have to spray it. This one, you do not have to spray. You're just able to charge it. So I do like that feature. It's a little bit less messy and a little bit just easy, more, more easy maintenance. So... This is a bark collar, and this is how it looks. So let's get ready to get into our test. All right, guys. So how you test it? Because you obviously just want to test it to make sure that you are not shocking your dogs if that's not what you desire. And if you do decide to shock your dog, I recommend you seeing what that shock feels like. So test it out on yourself and see what level you feel comfortable with your dog. Because if you can't handle the shock then your dog definitely can't handle the shock in my opinion. Alright guys, so in order to test it, you just blow into it. It'll beep, place it on your skin, and you can feel what the vibrate feels like. Obviously it didn't hurt, it was just a nice little vibration, which I think is a good vibration for Zoe's weight and size.
right guys so to conclude with this video we're going to discuss some of the pros and cons obviously you see from the footage as soon as Zoe got this on there was no barking I do believe that because she has had experiences with other bark collars she already knows what this means so once she gets this on she already knows okay I can't bark at this point in time so that was a pro just by her knowing it that she knew that she wasn't supposed to bark she didn't even attempt to bark um, I do think that this collar is very very nice and built very well I do think the one that we have already is a little bit more on the cheaper end and this one I love the digital settings on this side and how you can adjust the settings that way with the spray collar that I have you just put it in there and it sprays out so I do love that and I love the look of it I love the design of it I really don't have any cons for it I think that this is a great bark collar and I think this will work for your dog and I love the versatility of it the fact that you can shock if you want to if you feel comfortable with shocking or if you do not feel comfortable with shocking like myself then you can use the vibration and also like I said it does give you a weight chart which I will put the chart in the video so you guys can see the different sizes that it recommends and what levels of shocking it recommends for your sizes for my dog I believe it was like zero to seven pounds if the shock level is supposed to be on zero so this is a great collar I would definitely recommend it and I definitely thank you guys for watching those Yorkies times three if you do like this collar please be sure to look in my description box below and you'll be able to get the details on where to purchase this collar also you guys do not forget to check out my website www.thoseyorkiestimes3 I am running two coupons right now I have one that is a buy to get one free and the coupon code for that is BOGO3 and another one is to get 10% off and the coupon for that is Yorkies10 so again Please go ahead and check out our website www.thoseyorkiestimes3.com so you can get some cool, fashionable, handcrafted, 100% cotton rope leashes for your pups. And again, that's everything that I have for you guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye guys.